morning, we're in Collier Cougars. Today is Friday, October 2nd. It's Friday. Tonight is the home football catfish bowl. Fact, this will be the 23rd meeting between Bear and Collier and Gulf Coast, known as the catfish bowl. Why a catfish, you ask? I guess when you put a cougar and shark together, you get a catfish. Bear and Collier Cougars hold an 18 to 4 advantage in the series. It will finally feel like the football season with the players, cougar band, and cheerleader, cheerleaders all in action. Good luck tonight to the coaches and players in this continued rivalry. The guidelines of Collier County Athletics events have changed to allow limited spectators. Click the Moving Forward Fall Athletic Events image on the homepage of both the CollierSchools.com and Barron Collier website for specific details about each sport. Underclassmen pictures are being taken on campus on Friday, October 9th by Lenard Studios. Your English teacher have picture forms for you to use to order copies of your photo. There will be no conditioning after school today for girls soccer. Paperwork needs to be completed by October 16th. Tryouts will be after school on October 19th. There is a Model UN meeting after school today, Friday, October 2nd in room 461 in the Red Hallway. You have until Friday to turn in your $25 check and permission slip in for Shark Mun. All checks must be made out to Ban Collier Shark Mun. If you are interested in joining the Kids Can Club or are already a fellow member, please give us a follow on our new Twitter page, at KidsCan20, where we will post future updates on information regarding the club. Yesterday, Barron Collier's volleyball teams played the community school at home. In the last state rankings, the team is 11-0 and ranked 8th in the state. The JV team won in two sets, scores of 25-8 in set 1 and 25-20 in set 2. The varsity team won in five sets with scores of 25-20 community school in set 1, 25-11 Barron in set 2, 20-17 Barron in set 3, and 26-24 community school in set 4, and 15-8 Barron in set 5. Skylar English led with 41 points, 32 kills, 2 blocks, 7 aces, 16 digs, and 1 assist. The next game is Tuesday, October 6th at Palmetto Ridge. Freshmen play at 4 p.m., JV at 5.30 p.m., and varsity at 7 p.m. Golf Coast outplayed the Baron Collier boys golf team yesterday afternoon, 156 to 181. Ashford Tyler led the scoring for the Cougars shooting at an even par 36. Live streaming of sporting events is working. You can watch all our sporting events virtually and show your support. Click the link on the BCHS website. When you get there, you will have to create an account and it will be free. The yearbook staff is looking for your input. Do you have ideas or photos to share for this year's yearbook? Scan this QR code to complete a survey and share your ideas with the yearbook staff. Leonard's Photography has provided a list of times and dates for seniors to schedule their pictures in the Fort Myers studios. Seniors must go online to new.leonards.com or call this number to schedule an appointment. Walk-ins are not allowed due to COVID procedures. Nationals Honor Society member forms are due no later than Wednesday, October 7th. The membership forms can be found on the National Honor Society page on the BCHS website. Go to activ activities, select clubs, and then select National Honor Society. Please see Ms. Joji in room 420 or email her at this email with any questions. Also, National Honor Society members can receive volunteer hours for helping with the scoreboard at volleyball games. Contact Ms. Joji for details. Check the Colleges and Career Corner located in the guidance channel of the BCH website. You will find virtual college meet events and career opportunities for BC BCHS students from many universities, college and organizations around the community and country. That's a wrap for the BCTV News. For the Blue and Gray, Go, Go Cougars! Cougars.